Desmond Ritter, who's going into his sophomore season in the NFL, was a third round pick in the 2022 NFL Draft. The expert said he had tools, but wasn't generally considered a top prospect. The Atlanta Falcons have handed him the reins for this year, though, so Ritter found he has an opportunity to show the world what he's got. I think 2023 will be a good year for the young signal caller. Let's talk about it. Ritter was an interesting prospect coming out of Cincinnati. He's a competitive and tough player with good leadership qualities and experience, which are some good intangibles that any team could use. Past the mental game, though, his physical tools are above average. No part of his skill set really jumps out at you, but he has solid size and his arm strength is good, plus he's athletic and a guy who can use his legs well. The main criticism of Ritter is his periodic issues with accuracy. That's an issue that can be fixed with coaching and work. But I digress. My point is, something to really like about him is that none of his physical attributes are really going to hold him back from being great. He doesn't have a signature ability like the arm strength of Justin Herbert or the speed of Lamar Jackson, but he definitely has all that he needs to make things happen. Further adding to my case is the fact that Ritter has an excellent situation around him. Falcons have a very strong running game to lean on, headlined by Bijan Robinson, who's one of the most hyped running back prospects in the recent years, plus the criminally underrated workhorse Tyler Algier. The Cincinnati product also has plenty to work with in the passing game, with promising wideout Drake London and ridiculously talented tight end Kyle Pitts, plus the aforementioned Bijan Robinson's significant receiving capabilities. Matt Collins is another solid piece in the pass catching room. He had 700 yards last year, but he kind of flew under the radar a little bit. In addition to these guys, Atlanta also has a nice offensive line with guys like Caleb McGarry, Chris Lindstrom, and Jake Matthews helping to form an above average unit. A good offensive line is absolutely massive for the offense. It gives the quarterback more time and allows him to be more comfortable and deliver throws. Plus it paves lanes for running backs, which will do a lot for the offense in general. Often you'll see players take a big jump from the first year of their NFL careers to the second. In a guy's first year, they're still getting settled in and acclimated to the jump between college and the NFL, and it can cause some problems. The second year, though, players often are a lot more comfortable and able to get into their groove. The fact that Ritter has had another offseason to adapt to the NFL and train with his team will do him a lot of favors. We're all going to be able to watch a lot more of the young quarterback this year than we did last year, and it's going to be interesting to see what happens. As with any young player, especially a young quarterback, there are going to be growing pains. Try not to dismiss or give up on anyone who hasn't had that much time to prove themselves. Who knows, maybe I'm totally wrong this video will look stupid in a year or two. But I think that Desmond Ritter has a good shot to be a quality quarterback in the NFL. All that being said, I think that's going to do it for today's video. If you made it this far, drop a fire emoji in the comments to let me know, and I'll heart your comment or something. I appreciate all the support from everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.